Last week on The Space Between, we run into some not-so-cooperative weather, and then we have a little issue with a finicky generator. After a few minor setbacks, though, we continue on down to Key West for the fantasy festivities. So it turns out it wasn't the fuel pump at all, it was the water pump. And what had happened was when I took it in to get it rebuilt, um, either I was supposed to check it or the guy just didn't tighten the nut on the back of the drive gear and the drive gear just fell off. So the poor little generator overheated and shut herself down. Once we got that drive gear put back on and everything buttoned back up, everything ran smoothly. Can you still see what it is? You still see the shape? Hello. The shape of Texas. For our Amarillo based. It had a. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Breakfast the champions. Texas champions. Mm. And do they taste absolutely as good as they look? Exquisite. All right. You know, the food on board this ship is absolutely exquisite. The finest cook, the finest food. I'll tip you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's We're supposed to go snorkeling or hookah rigging today, and winds are blowing at 22 knots. Seas are a little rough to um, attempt that, so we are probably going to pull into Marathon, get on a ball there, and go into town and go eat and drink and do other stuff. Pray that it knocks down a little bit. Um, you know, they seem to be enjoying themselves either way. They're great. They go with the flow type of people. So, it's, so you can't control the weather. It's one thing. You know, we can make you great food. <laughs> we can lead you to beautiful reefs, <laughs> but we can't control the weather. So, what are you gonna do? How many people get to say they do school on the way to Key West? Drop the dinghy. Sounds good. We'll see you then. City Marine is clear. Back to one six. Space between. Back to one six. All right. Captain needs a beer. Yes, he does. What flavor beer would the captain? They're only open till five, though. Well, good thing it is only four. Four fifteen. We are in Marathon City Marina, and my poor husband is working on the generator again. What's wrong? Why do I somehow feel like we're gonna need some sort of retrofit by the time we get home? We are here with Left Boy and Wibble Butts oh. and Captain oh, Scott. Yeah, do that. Awesome. Okay. Leaving the space between, headed for steak and lobster. Taking a small tour of the Anchorage on our way in. So we may enter some inclement weather as we go up across the street, she said. But is it a dense huh? steak and lobster house? She did, it says steak and lobster. She didn't even give me a name further than that. If it's a net, then we're two minutes, a two minute walk. Two minute walk. She literally said it's directly across the street. So I mean, it seemed like 
Like right, like I would think it would be that blue building right in front of us. Or teal building. Or... But that sky does not look very forgiving. After a wonderful dinner at the Steak and Lobster House, we went next door to the bar, had a couple of drinks, and enjoyed each other's company. Alright, I think we're on plan C or D. And, uh, oh. plan C or D. We are now rocking and rolling our way to Stock Island Marina Village. Because yet again, the seas are they're angry today. The seas are very angry today, my friend. <laughs> so, uh, again, not a great diving, snorkeling day. So we are going to head to Stock Island and hang out and, and eat, drink. eat, drink, and be merry till uh, till we head to Key West, mañana. We got the captain in the engine room. The two fouled props. Some crab traps and zero visibility to go in there and So after getting settled in the marina, we took a dip in the pool and headed over to the Hogfish Grill by our designated dinghy driver. You stay right there. That is just evil. All right, we are in. Stock Island Marina Village. What with some of the finest boats on earth? <laughs> yes, there are some poison. nice yachts here. I like the name of this one with the funky little turtles. And then there's that beauty up there. We'll get closer. We are heading to a new coffee shop where we were given free cafe con leche. Tickets, so we're going to go claim our free cafe con leches. <laughs> cafe what? Cafe con leche. The hell is that? C coffee with milk. <laughs> oh, so it's coffee with milk. Yeah. Oh. That's just the fancy Cuban word for it. Oh. So out of uh, one to ten stars on your marina experiences think, thus far. I think this is one of the finest marinas I've ever been to. Actually, I give it ten stars. All right. Uh, awesome people here at the Stock Island Marina and uh, the, the facilities all beautiful everything's brand new uh, all the people that have their boats here apparently they're interviewed to make sure they're cool <laughs> there's nobody that's stuffy or anything so it's absolutely one of the best marinas I think I've ever been to and uh, can't wait to come back again someday. All right I tend to agree we'll have to see the galleon this is our first time staying at the galleon marina where we're heading to now De Lunas. De Lunas. All right. He did not lead us astray. Okay. Uh, All right. So this is Pella. Okay. And this is yours. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll be back for sandwiches. Oh, we are heading to the Galleon Marina after a short stint of. The Stock Island Marina Village had a fun evening Six eight, beating right into it. at, he said it was following seas. He checked Wendy this morning. Going to Miami then. Oh, no we're not going to Miami. <laughs> Just because I got my Cuban coffee doesn't mean I'm going to Miami. Well, you ain't going to Cuba either. Um, no, it's not one that I can had a fun night at Hogfish Bar Correct. with our Designate our triple D over here, designated dinghy driver. And uh, by the way, you can pause this here and you have footage on your telephone. So when you are editing this video, you will know to go download your telephone with the pictures of hogfish on it because we didn't bring the camera. Gotcha. We have arrived at the not AMB Marina, but Galleon Marina. Right next door to the A and B Marina. Right there next to Alonzo's Oyster Bar. Yeah, oh. Before I got this camera out, 
You had said something. Oh, I did. I did. And so I wanted to get the camera back out to record this well, because... Recreating it is never the same as the original. I know, but I, I felt like it needed to be recorded because you told me you had a dream. I did. I had a dream. And, and, I'll, and I'll tell you, I was still in Scott. Because see, was it the middle of a baseball hear. field in the middle of the corn? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, had a dream. you built it and they came. And they came. And then, um, then it was just nasty everywhere. But then you turned it into a rodeo. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> it But no, I, we came here about three or four years ago. Or five, I don't know, how when our first time to come to Key West was. But I came here to this marina and ever since then my dream was to be on a badass yacht, especially a catamaran, in this marina. And here we are in a the most badass yacht, i.e. catamaran, in this marina. And not only that, we're in the very best spot. We're in like the Hollywood spot. We got so, the VIP, that's the Yeah, we're the VIP bitches right here. So live in the dream. To the live in the dream. Live in the dream, by golly. Ching ching. Absolutely. On Yeah. <laughs> now we are, let's just tell the YouTube audience that we are pissing off the crew the uh, the crew, the guests that are going to be with you in July for the Cheeseburger in Paradise party oh, because yes, they are yes. super jealous you are here without them because now. Because they're in Texas in the in, snow? In shitty weather. Well, yeah. actually, they're in Greenville. They're in Greenville, where it's still cool, which he thinks yes. is cold, and it's wet or very moist. <laughs> Well, very moist. I love that word. Yes, and so he's not happy, so I'm sending him all these great pictures that we came into the you know, came into the harbor area here and, and all the places that we like to hang out when we're there. Well, next week I'll one of his bars. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. yeah next week we're Whatever we're his really favorite bar is, you tell yeah. him we're going to go and we're, we're going to take yeah. Yeah. everybody's going to put We're going to blow Facebook. We can Facebook oh, live yeah. from the bar. We'll we can Facebook, Facebook live, live yeah. from the bar. I love doing the Facebook live. Now, do you have Dan on your Facebook? Yeah. Oh, we, oh, have yeah on, we have him on yeah, Sailing Space between. I don't know. I've seen him. Uh, maybe I do have him. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's great torture. What's his favorite bar? Uh, the. Uh, he likes. Is it the Flying Monkey? The Flying Monkey. That's his deal. He's got a whole stack of cups in his kitchen. Flying, flying monkey. monkey. All right. Are they the ones that do the sweet? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Things. He likes the fly. Well, he actually likes both. He the likes. First time, he likes the one. One. flying mm. monkey and Fat Tuesdays. Oh, those oh, are headache God. drinks. But Donnie doesn't like Fat Tuesdays. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna have to do that and just burn his ass really bad. And uh, he's quite susceptible. We gotta go gas monkey. Oh, we're, yeah. we're such great friends. There's a gas monkey here? Yeah. There is. Yes. I think I it's dying. I don't know that's a bit No. It's and it's not that great of a bar. And he's probably kicking himself for investing in bars. He's got a place to hang out in the Key West when he wants to. So. Mm. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So, what's on the agenda for here? I don't know. I did my part today. So let me, let me I, I got us in this little slot. So, do we want to go... Um, Hit the streets. We do you guys want no, that's what I was just saying. I'm like, I don't think we, I don't think we've eaten. So okay. Oh well, yeah. So we could totally do lunch. We're gonna go somewhere for lunch, or you gonna? Um, we got taco bowls or something else. You're about tacoed out. Okay, maybe I should discuss the food. It's the morning after. Looks like a hula person and a mermaid died. I forgot the penis sheath. I'm so very upset. Um, came home and had a lunch fest at two in the morning, made pizza, ate brownies. Probably saved our lives. Sorry we didn't document all of it, but Whipple Butts and I got body painted and I wasn't going to have any of that on YouTube. I know, I don't It's time for the, um, it's time for the only bad part of the trip. Yes, so tell me your favorite part. All of it. All of it. The trip. Tell me your least favorite part. Right now. Oh. <laughs> Leaving. I'm very, very sad. What about that first day, though? I mean, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was bad. That was real bad. Um, make sure you pay attention to which faucet you drink out of. It's important. <laughs> it's like Mexico. Don't drink the water. Yeah, don't drink the water. Oh. Drink the designated drinking water. The designated drinking water. 
line. Faucets that look like that. All right, Mr. Whipple. Yes, ma'am. You have to tell me your favorite. You're kind of dark, favorite. but your very favorite part of the trip. My very favorite part of the trip was the entire thing. Because it was absolutely the coolest freaking four day, five, five days. Help and I mean, yeah, wonderful. Uh, so, went by fast. Sunday to Saturday, so you know, whether it's whether it's the great food that you cook, or or having a, a great time hanging out with the captain up in the up in the cockpit, it's just a wonderful opportunity. I absolutely loved it all. And you know, really, there's just there's no other component of it that's better or worse because it's all great. It is all great. Alrighty then. So there is not a least favorite part then. There's not a least favorite part. I uh, well, right there kind of is. Now she's she's not happy because we have to leave. But other than that, you know, that's that's it. So we had a great time, super time, and uh, you know, everybody should do it. Everybody, at least once. At least yeah. once. Everybody, everybody if you're cool, if you're as cool as these people, because you well, know that's yeah. hard to beat. But yeah. you just got to be ready to have a good time when you get here because right. it's on. Baby. <laughs> Now, you want to tell people, um, did I already do this, about your rodeo business that you got in, what, two weeks? We, well, it's actually, the starts on the seven. second weekend in November every year. We support uh, working cowboys and their families across the United States. And uh, to do that, we generate funds with the World Championship Ranch Rodeo, Amarillo, Texas. Uh, this year it's going to be November 7th to 11th. And uh, it's a it's a great time. We, it's like throwing a party for 40,000 of your closest friends. And uh, we fill the town and, and have a big ranch rodeo. It's it's a world away from this, but it's a great world too. It's a lot of fun. And so once once we get done doing that, then we'll be looking to be back out on your boat again. Let's know. Hey, now you're the guy I get to send the pictures to and say, I wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing week we had with Carol and Randy, a.k.a. Whipple Butts. They are new friends that are instantly going to be lifelong friends. One of my favorite parts of this job, if you can even call it that, is getting to know and experience adventures with fun people. Thank you for everything and being our guests. Can't wait till July. Between where I smile